Hello friends, welcome to Akul Mike Live and I am Chandrakant. As you know that uh, for past few weeks we are understanding the industrial and technical cables and uh, this is being uh, informed to us by none other than uh, uh, the Toshkewal Cables uh, CEO Mr. Naveen Toshkewal. So let's invite him once again to understand what different types of industrial cables that we use uh, on a daily basis, but we don't know much about them. So without further ado, let's welcome Navi. Hello Chandrakant and all the viewers. Hope all is well at your end. Thank you uh, Naveen for joining the show. Everything is uh, fine and kicking and uh, thank you so much. And we are eager to know what is the new type of cable that you will inform us about today. Okay. Uh, see, this is one cable I want to show you. This is a four pair cable. See, it has got four pairs. Yeah, here. Yeah. Is it okay? Right, so this has got four pairs. Inside, you will find two pairs. Uh, conductor size is probably 0 0.5 square mm. And what you will note about this cable is that each pair has got a shielding. We have discussed about shielding earlier. This is to provide uh, electrostatic interference reduction. So that, you know, these, carry, these cables, when they carry low voltages, the interferences coming from the outside power cables and other heavy electric cables that is not allowed to penetrate inside the signals which they, these small cables are carrying. So you will see that these are four pairs. That means this can carry four sets of signals. Now the important part is that each pair is shielded to provide uh, electrostatic interference. And this sort of individual shielding is required when analog signals are being carried in the cable. Now, another feature in this cable in the middle, you will see one, there is a blank core. It is just a pure, simple PVC core. This is just to give a round shape and good finish to the cable. It has no electrical purpose. It is just used for uh, providing a round shape. And then you see outside, you will find that there is a sheathing of PVC. So this is a four pair signal cable, which can carry four simultaneous signals at a time maybe from RTD or from any other measuring or uh, uh, control inst uh, instrument. And this has got an individual pair shielding. So uh, Naveen, uh, these are uh, shielded cables and uh, do they also have some different color codes? Because I did not see the color except the yellow and black. Uh, are there any different colors and uh, does these colors signify anything? Yes, actually, you are right. The color coding is essential to identify. It has no electrical purpose as such, and it has no electrical coding as such. It is just uh, that the awareness at sight that which particular pair is uh, being connected at one end so that they can be coordinated at the other end. See, I'll show you the color difference now. See, this is a red color core. This is yellow color. This is brown. This is purple. Now this is green. So these cores are identified. Either it is in the form of pairs, so we can have a separate color code for the pair. Or if it, in, if it is in the form of cores, then you can have separate color. Now you see there is a black also, which I missed out, and the white also. So these colors are available. See, again, these are all customized main purpose of the color code is the identification. Now coming to this cable, now this is a very flexible cable. Inside we have silicon rubber. So you can see it is highly flexible. Silicon rubber is one of the most flexible materials. Then here we have got a shielding, which is a different type. Earlier I showed you the cable, which, which was having a tape shield. This is having a braided shield. This is in the form of a, of a mesh like this. So this has the dual purpose of not only providing shielding, but it also provides mechanical strength to the cable. But remember one thing, technically speaking, braided shield 
has got lesser shield efficiency than a taped shield because see in a tape you will find that there is a 100% coverage because when you when you when we wrap the tape it we can give an overlap but in a braided shield no matter how close you make the braiding some gaps will always be there no matter how close you do it so these gaps will never give you a 100% shield efficiency the shielding efficiency in case of braided shield is always lesser than that of uh, aluminum tape which has got a 100% coverage now what i understand is that this sort of braided shield is more useful for shielding uh, low frequency cables which are called radio waves in case of radio waves or radio frequency uh, uh, interference if they are available then braided uh, braided shield is a better option now in this cable you will also see that there is some reinforcement with fiberglass this is just to provide strength in the cable right so this because the cores are very very flexible and thin so this reinforcement of fiberglass is given then we have the uh, braiding which has got a tin uh, coating on that to provide prevent the oxidation on the copper and then we have the outer sheath of pvc which is finishing the cable excellent uh, navin uh, it is so uh, wonderful to hear these uh, technical aspects and especially the geeks who are watching our program one basic question is that you mentioned about the uh, mesh uh, shielding which provides strength uh, but it does not provide lot of uh, shielding from the interference so if the cost is not the consideration for some customers of yours can you provide both in a cable to make it stronger as well as uh, completely shielded yes many clients ask for this they will ask for a dual shielding because if there are low frequency waves also and high frequency uh, interference also then some people uh, ask for double shielding with tape also as well as with braiding also but technically speaking braiding does not provide all that mechanical strength of course it provides it has got a dual purpose but if mechanical strength is the only requirement then we will go for a ss braiding that is a stainless steel braiding or we will go in for a wire armor like in the earlier episodes i was showing you the wire and strip armor which is made of gi now this sort of braiding can also be used for mechanical strength but it is normally of gi that is galvanized iron or of stainless steel ss so that is a better material for providing mechanical strength rather than uh, copper braiding because copper does not have mechanical strength of course it does provide some mechanical strength it uh, it has a dual purpose of providing some strength and the a reduction in interference but if only mechanical strength is required then ss is the better option excellent uh, navin so what else you want to show us today is there any other uh, sample that you want to show and explain what is so special in those yeah i will show you a cable which is very routinely used probably it is used in day to day also but many people are not aware what actually is inside now this is a coaxial cable now here you will have a conductor then there is an insulation of polyethylene then you have a braided shield and then you have a outer sheath of pvc now this sort of cable is commonly used in the dish antennas for uh, uh, conveying uh, for uh, transmitting the signals from the dish antennas up to the tv sets so this is a very common consumer used cable of course we are not getting too many orders for this item because it involves too much of competition lot of people are making it but just for the academic purpose and for explaining the technical features i wanted to show you this sample so this has got a conductor a polyethylene insulation braiding and pvc now the polyethylene is a material which provides low capacitance values so this sort of polyethylene insulation is also very commonly used in industries where you need to minimize the heating effect on the cable because if the capacitance is low and inductance is low the heat generation in the cable is also low so suppose you have got any sort of explosive gases in in the atmosphere like in petrochemical plant or in refineries 
so this sort of explosive gases will not catch fire in case the heating effect goes beyond the ignition point of that particular gas so this polyethylene is very useful for providing uh, this sort of uh, you, you can say protection to the environment where you are able to minimize the capacitance and inductance values yes in fact uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, because of the competition of this uh, cable uh, it is divided among all different different industries and i think there is another reason that most of the television now is now uh, getting streamed directly from the internet router into your tv uh, uh, into your tv set because uh, now the setup box is also wireless so uh, and there is no dish nowadays i think most of these different uh, new generation uh, setup box like xbox or geo uh, setup box are all wireless uh, and there are no running cable in the house and uh, because of that uh, uh, outside the house it's all uh, fiber optics so that is why most of the coaxial cables are going out of fashion isn't it uh, ravi yes uh, you are you are right actually now lot of things are becoming wireless with uh, improving technology but still i think this wire cable will continue because this internet connectivity in villages and small places is still not there and people still rely on the dish tv and TV, uh, actual uh, old methods of watching television you know so this will still continue for some time but yes in due course the demand will definitely fade out and uh, i have one more observation in fact uh, i found out because i was curious the fiber optics is the cheapest cable that you get in the market today it is very easy to manufacture it provides very very high speed of transmission of data and it is the cheapest one so i think that is why most of the service providers are uh, moving on to fiber optics because uh, just by using one one small cable you can have uh, you know uh, multiple terabytes of data being transmitted and that is why uh, you know the coaxial cable had a limitation and that is why the old uh, telecom provider are still struggling with the you know megabyte speed whereas the new ones are providing terabytes in their speed because they are using a very low tech low uh, cost uh, cable which is fiber optics so i'm sure uh, uh, this may have some impact uh, on your business also just last thoughts on this subject since we are discussing the future also and the cost benefit analysis actually as i told you you know we are not into this consumer sector it is just for academic academic interest which i showed you this coaxial cable we were never into it full fledgedly we are mostly catering to the industries and in the industries these coaxial cables are used for a totally different purpose you know they are used for data transmission signal transmission so from the point of view of business i don't think it will affect us much because we are not fully into this sector but yes you are right the demand overall in general will definitely go down in due course excellent davin so i think we learned something new today uh, you showed us uh, you know two different kinds of uh, table in fact three different types of uh, cables which are used uh, by the industry yes. our viewers will learn you know different things and uh, especially who geeks who want to know about the materials and different types of cable where they are applied and in case uh, they want to learn more they can reach out to us and we will connect uh, any question which we received today um, to you back to you or if somebody wants to reach out to you directly they can do that all they have to do is search for navin toshniwal on linkedin and you they can reach out to navin so navin thank you so much for joining us today and uh, giving us so much information about these things which we don't even think on daily basis thank you so much my pleasure thank you so much and we'll keep keep connected as usual